In 70 CE, the Roman general Titus laid siege of Jerusalem and destroyed the temple on the 9th of Av on the Hebrew calendar. Years later, immediately after he became emperor, Mount Vesuvius also erupted on the 9th of Av. In addition, Rome suffered a conflagration of flame and then plague. Did the people of the day believe it was divine retribution for destroying the temple? Before the onset of the first Jewish revolt, a comet flashed through the skies. Titus and his father Vespasian were sent to quell the Jewish rebellion in Judea. Within months, they conquered the major Jewish strongholds of Galilee. Flavius Josephus relates that rebels drowned in the Sea of Galilee and became bloody, full of dead swollen bodies and corrupting the air. The Jordan River filled with corpses and drifted into the Dead Sea. After failed attempts to take the city, Titus lay siege of Jerusalem during Passover 70 CE. Vespasian had been called to Rome and appointed emperor, leaving Titus to take Jerusalem and quell the tumult. Those foraging outside the wall were captured and crucified. The Jews swallowed gold, but their bodies were plundered. Starving by degrees, they ate straw, leather, and even their children, having lowered themselves to eat dung, hiding in the drainage tunnels beneath the city. The Romans breached the city with over 10,000 deaths, the temple seething full of fire, the soldiers jumped over heaps of bodies. Carrying their ensigns into the temple, they made Titus Imperator. With great shouts of joy, they plundered the precious vessels of the temple. Multitudes were sold into bondage. The date was the 9th of Av, incidentally the same date of the destruction of Solomon's temple. Even today, modern Israelis fast for the loss of the two temples on the same date. Leading a triumph parade to celebrate the victory, Titus and Vespasian dedicated the Jewish artifacts at the Temple of Jupiter in Rome. They minted Judea Capta coins, depicting the humiliation of the Jewish captives. As the prophet Isaiah predicted, Jerusalem was ruined and she, being desolate, shall sit upon the ground. Jewish slaves were forced to build monuments in Rome to celebrate their own defeat, such as the Arch of Titus and also the Colosseum. Suddenly, only two months after Titus was named emperor, Mount Vesuvius erupted, which also took place on the 9th of Av. The pyroclastic cloud of ash buried the people of Pompeii and Herculaneum. As Titus conducted relief efforts at Pompeii, a year later, Rome burned for three days and nights. Cassius Dio recounted that it consumed the temple of Jupiter Capitolinus with the surrounding temples. Hence, the disaster seemed to be not of human but divine origin. A plague broke out during the fire and the death toll innumerable. Titus's last official duty was the dedication of the Colosseum the final monument to the humiliation of the Jewish slaves. The event included animal contests and a sea battle. The next day, Titus died of a sudden fever on his way to the Sabaean territories. He expired at the exact place which had been the scene of his father's death. His last words were, I have made but one mistake. What was the mistake? The prevailing view was that he regretted taking his brother's wife, or that he had not killed Domitian, his brother, when he found him openly plotting against him. The Jewish sages claimed that an insect flew into Titus's nose, picking his brain for seven years. In summary, with two bookend comets in the heavens, the destruction of the first and second Jewish temples, as well as the eruption of Vesuvius, all took place on the 9th of Av, 
The temple and Rome were ablaze by a conflagration in its kind. The Jewish slaves were taken captive, yet the residents of Pompeii were taken captive in volcanic ash. Both Titus and his father died in the exact location of a sudden fever. As a postscript, Pompeii and Herculaneum were buried under ash, wiped out permanently until modern times. An innocuous link of similar jewelry style between the Roman Empire and Judea was found recently. Comparing a fresco at Pompeii and an earring unearthed at the Givati parking lot in Jerusalem, the earrings from both places are remarkably similar in materials and design. In conclusion, and biblically speaking, it was dangerous to attack Jerusalem because, thus says the Lord of hosts, He has sent me against the nations who plunder you, for he who touches you touches the pupil of his eye.